And then my final team outside the top four, the Sydney Roosters. Bit of a weird one because obviously they were absolutely plagued by injury and retirement. There were quite a few matches where they had over $2 million sitting out. So that's like a quarter of the salary cap. So they were seriously um, handicapped by that, I guess you'd have to say. Um, So it's a bit tough. I actually predicted them to win the premiership, which is a bit rogue, but I had them finishing third and I just thought Melbourne uh, weren't going to get it done, which turned out to be correct. And then I, a bit of a spoiler, but I actually had them to beat South in the premiership. Uh, in the grand final. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one because obviously they didn't match that expectation of me, but at the same time, a lot of it was sort of out of their hands. However, this is sort of something that is a little bit of a worry now for the Roosters because it's happened two years in a row and they've maybe got to, you know, look at the way they're going about things. It could also just be a freak accident, but uh, yes. So rating, I'm going to just give it a 5 out of 10. It's probably a bit harsh. If you factor in the injuries, it's probably like a 7 out of 10. If you don't factor in the injuries, it's probably like a 3 out of 10. So, uh, yeah, it's probably a bit harsh, but I'll give it a 5. MVP, James Tedesco, I know it's boring, but like the most consistent player in the competition, maybe next to Nathan Cleary, the man will just give you a 9 or 10 out of 10 every week. Without fail, and he's just a, oh, he's such a beast. Uh, most improved, I'm actually giving it to Drew Hutchison. Uh, honorable mention, Jared Warrior, Hargraves. I think he was really good this year. Uh, but Hutchison, he's sort of been a bit of a journeyman. He's filled in for injuries here or there, but with the Kiri injury, he really got his chance this year and played, don't know how many games, but it would, would have been like 18, 19. And there were quite a few games where he was actually the Roosters' best player. And it especially towards the end of the year, the regular season. Uh, he really started to step up when they started to bench Sam Walker to for his health. And I don't know what their I don't know what his plans are. I don't know what his contract situation is, but you know, if there's a club who has an injury prone half, I guess the Roosters have Luke Keery, but uh, yeah, he would definitely be a serviceable backup or even if a team needs a you know, they've got a gun team around him and they just need someone who's going to give a 7 out of 10 each week. Hutchison could be a man. Uh, best young player, obviously, Sam Walker, winner of the Dally and rookie of the year. Absolute elite season from an 18-year-old halfback, which is very rare to see in our competition. And he looks like he's going to be a star of the future. It's a miracle. Oh, yeah. Cheers, here's Siddle. 